So I'm going to show you how fruitful garden is. Look at all those mangoes. Mangoes galore. Kumango. Mango making a brick out in the pocket. Yes, man. Mango juicy. <laughs> juicy mango. Alright, so they've just kind of made a little stop. I think the baby's hungry. So they are going to eat from way back there. I can't see them. But... Yeah. Oh my baby, cake, cake, Any fufu, any omutu, any watchy. He's trying to speak Ghanaian. I'm not trying. Bless her Sorry, heart. To speak tree, Bless her tree. heart. See, she can't even say tree. She's saying tree. Well, it's I not a tree. tree. I said tree. She's saying the tree. I said tree. Because she see mango tree. Don't follow it. Don't follow it. Yeah. Look at this. Yo, a yard we come from, right? <laughs> All the yard people, we don't come. We don't, uh, ancestor come from Ghana, big up, yeah. Big up Jamaica. We don't, we don't go long. <laughs> Now he's gone into house. See? Can't just listen. He's an all-rounder, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so we're just I think we're on route now to um where the widows are. Um yep, so stay tuned. <laughs> Wanna be Guardian? Wanna be Jamaican? Wanna be American? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright peeps. So everyone stops to eat so I figured I might as well join them so I'm eating these little fish, what they call? Fried fish. Oh that's it? Yes, yeah, so chinam. Chinam. Yeah, which just means fried fish. Oh, yeah. So chinam means fried fish so really good beets, potato chips any day. We need to get some of these and take them home. It's got a little bit of pepper on it and I don't even like pepper. But these are good. Very good, very, 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 very good. Look at that. <laughs> a bit spicy though. Be careful how you eat them. But they taste good. So, come over to Ghana and have some chin up. <laughs> ah, hey, uh, hey, Erica, sorry, ministry. I walk around. And they uh, showed and bakla. Showed and showed and bakla. But more UK, I'm not sure. It's you know, a band of the station. And they cry, it's your cry between the idea. And they are so much. Basically, all the items that we've bought to Dodawa, they're um, taking what they want, even if it doesn't. Even if it doesn't fit them, they're probably there's someone that they can give it to, or they sell it and make a little change to eat. And so they're just taking what is necessary, what they need. So this is what I'm going to ask, if you cannot afford to give a financial donation, you know, look in your closet, maybe there's something that you haven't worn for a year or two years that you can donate. Um, I'm not saying chuck out your junk, I'm saying you know if you see something in your closet that you haven't worn for two years shoes you know you come on i mean i i had loads of them it's time for a clear out guys yeah we don't want your junk we want stuff that you would wear but you choose not to wear anymore okay um 
So, you know, just go through your closet, please. Take out what you don't wear and, and donate. Give, give us a call. Send us an email at info at shieldandbutler.org. We'll contact you, you know, and tell you how or where to send it or where we can pick it up from. Okay, and so, um, you know, just remember these people. Okay, another one's. What's, what's that saying? What's one man's junk is another man's treasure. You know, um, don't chuck it in the bin. And please, don't give it to the charity shops because the charity shops, they sell them and they give two pence out of every pound to the charity that you originally donated it to. Okay? Come on, we've got to do better than that. We want to bring it just like we're doing now and bring it directly to those that need it. Okay? It costs us money to ship it. So, you know, you know, if you can give towards the shipping or if you can give us the stuff to donate to them and give them, you know, put a smile on someone's face, guys. This is like, you know, you honestly, you there's no better feeling that you get from making someone else happy. It's amazing. You can't, it's irreplaceable. You know, just to see the cheer and the joy that you bring to a community, it's absolutely heartwarming. Okay? And you know, if you guys want to come to come come on the mission field with us you know come just let us know when you're coming we'll plan a trip and you know you can be involved get involved get hands-on you know it's not if you can't donate money if you can't donate your clothes donate your time you know there's there's something that you can give to someone to make someone smile today in a world where everybody is somebody We've selected, they've selected five or so widows that we'll give personally, you know, so they didn't have to go into the crowd. Um, and we're going to give them like rice and oil and clothes. And so we're just heading to where they are now. Tim and join with John with the rooms for tonight because it's freezing outside. Thank you. Thank you to Shiro Buckler for buying me all these things today.